Okay, so in this talk, I'm going to consider the right side case of the one-sided version of the higher derivative test. And here's how it goes. So by the way, in the previous video, we did the left side case, and that's what you may be seeing here above. But right now, we're doing the right side case. So you have a function, you have a point in the domain. The function is k times right differentiable at the point, and k minus 1 times differentiable on the right of the point. The first k minus 1 right derivatives at the point are 0, and the kth right derivative at the point is non-zero. Okay? Now, unlike the left case, for the right case, actually the parity of k, that is whether k is even or odd, doesn't matter. Okay? So, in the, in the left case, it actually mattered whether k was even or odd. And if you see up here, for even and negative, you get strict local max from odd and negative, you get strict local min. But for the right case, it doesn't matter. I just was fill the table and then we'll come back to this. So, suppose uh, the right hand derivative, kth right hand derivative is negative. Okay? So, that's like uh, fx is minus x squared or fx is minus x cubed. Okay? What kind of a picture would you have for that? Well, it would be it would be decreasing on the immediate right of the point. Okay, mm -hmm. so what would you get? A local max. Strict local max. Strict local max. And uh, what about the other case? When you have a positive kth derivative. Strict local max strict local min. So, it's increasing. So, why is it that for the right side, it doesn't matter whether k is even or odd, whereas for the left side, it does matter? Hmm? I don't know. Okay. For the left side, if you do the proof, okay, let me just remind you how the proof goes. If you've seen the left side version, you should know that. Let me just take that out. There's the the proof for the left side version. Okay, you start by by having some information about the kth derivative. Let's say k is four, right? Then you use the one-sided derivative test to say something about the third derivative on the immediate left. Hmm? Then you use the uh, the fact that the third derivative at the point is zero to get the conclusion about the sign of the third derivative on the immediate left. Then use the first derivative test to go to the second derivative. Then you use that the second derivative is zero to say something about the sign of the second derivative. Then you use the first derivative test again to, to get maximum for the first derivative. Then you use the first derivative zero to get something about the sign of the first derivative. And then use the first derivative test to get you, that you have a strict local maximum as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Now for the left side behavior, every time you moved up a derivative or rather down a derivative, so every time you you use the first derivative test and change the number of times you're differentiating. The, the min change to max and the max change to min. Okay. For the right side, if you try to do something similar, we won't do that. But if you do try to, to mimic this proof, you'll notice that min remains min and max remains max. Okay. And uh, basically the reason is that, that on the right sort of, for the left, the main reason is that you're sort of dividing by something which is negative each time. So each time the sign flips around, whereas for the right, you're dividing by something which is positive. So it doesn't flip around. And that's why the parity of k doesn't matter. Okay? So now, once you have both of these one-sided versions, left and right, you can actually sort of try to start combining. We won't do that in full detail. But now you can see that if you have that the kth derivative two-sided exists and is negative, that means you have a negative here and here, and then depending on whether k is even or odd, you can get even negative, even negative, max from both sides, so max. If it's odd, then you have odd negative, odd negative, so min and max, so neither. And so by doing the various combinations, you can get the various cases for the usual higher derivative test.